So as you can see we've almost finished the second benchy. I'll put some close up photographs on um, when it gets finished. But I think even with it moving backwards and forwards you can probably see the difference um, straight away. The one thing I have noticed with this kit is that, I don't know whether you heard that, but the top of this screw here is got a fair amount of wobble on it and it rattles from side to side when it's doing very quick movements backwards and forwards that makes a heck of a racket now this could be because I print on this foam which is the foam that was on the top of the box where my CR10 came so it could be that that is causing the whole machine to wobble which is causing that to rattle uh, I mean it's not affecting the print at all but you can see it there shaking backwards and forwards and when it's doing very short very quick movements it rattles like false teeth in a tin um, so I might try a print taking it off this foam bed and seeing if it makes any difference but uh, we'll just leave it to finish and we'll take it from there and here are those results the benchy on the left is the benchy done after the upgrade and I think you'll agree there is a definite improvement uh, there is still some little tweaks to be done, but I'm very pleased with the outcome. So I thought I would chuck in some of my favourite blue PLA and have another go set to exactly the same profile on S3D, and this is the result. As you can see, straight off the bed, this is no uh, cleaning up at all. Beautiful look. Uh, I'm very pleased with this indeed. I'm very pleased with the upgrade. Uh, I would suggest to everybody who can get it, does get it. Uh, I hope this has helped you all in some way. If it has, leave a like. Uh, I'd appreciate that. And I may do some further upgrade videos later on. Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've seen. Thank you very much.